Oh my God, what have I bought? Good evening. Um, it's a bit of a late one tonight. So uh, on the way home from work, I had a phone call from the place that I get the vehicles from. Uh, it's got a CDI Beetha for me. It's a 1.2 diesel, which I usually remember the sort of engines and vehicles that I've had before, even though we've been doing this a long time. I don't think I've had a 1.2 TDI Seat Ibiza, so it's a new one for me. Um, never seen the car, had a quick picture of it, but I've had pictures of vehicles before, and you get there, and there's two different things between a picture and reality. So we're going to head up there, um, have a look at it, walk around it, take it home, see what it needs, hopefully make some money on it because I don't do this for fun. Right, obviously, before we actually uh, get to the vehicle, and I've got to bribe the beautiful recording assistant behind the camera with a coffee. So coffee stop first, then pick up the car. <laughs> Right, here we go. Exciting time again. <laughs> it's like Christmas Day every day buying and selling cars because you're thinking, ooh, what am I going to get today? And today is a Seat Ibiza. So let's have a little look at it. Oh, sh sugar. I think I've drove past it. Good start, isn't it? What are we seeing on that beauty? Right, first of all, can we have a look at these? I only buy in these. <laughs> and another top tip, right? Middle of the night, buy black cars in the dark, yeah? Because you cannot see anything that's wrong with them. And then you think, oof, I've done really well. By the time you get them home and the sun comes up tomorrow, you'll be sat there with your head in your hands thinking, oh my God, what have I bought? So yeah. I think it's got a private plate on it, which we'll take them off because I can see the original plates inside. It's clearly very uh, dirty at the moment. And I th think we've got a, a mark there. If you can see, you probably can't see it in this light. It's all locked up. This is gonna be one of those situations again where I never know whether to go all in, paint it, make it nice, make it really pretty so people come and they can't have an excuse not to buy it. But then on the other hand, we're always trying to find that balance between making decent margin. So people think, oh, I paid a thousand pound for it, I sold it for 2,000 pound. You've made a thousand pound. It's not like that. You've got to pay tax and VAT on the difference between the purchase price and the sold price. So if you were to make a thousand pound, this would end up being 600 quid. By the time you have the paint done, a couple of other bits and bobs, it's three, 400 quid. So you've got to try and calculate in how far to go with it. As of now, I haven't driven it, so we'll just have to drive it. If it drives perfect, no lights on, history with it, we'll get the paint done. If not, it can go as it is. So you will have seen a few days ago, even though again, it's a couple of seconds after the last clip that me and Bianca collected this the other evening. Uh, drove home really well, so decided to get the paint done. Uh, I'll show you that in a little bit and I'll try and put the picture in here of the previous damage, but I've had the back bumper painted. While it was in the paint shop, the gentleman who did the paintwork said, would you like me to give it a bit of a buff for you as well? So I've had that done. Um, we never really talk figures. So I paid 2,500 pound for the car. So far I've spent 180 pound on the paintwork. It's gotta go to Corey, maybe have a service in a bit. So there might be a few hundred pound more in it. Um, it's already been washed, I've just washed it. So we'll film the little rest of the clean and then on to the, the other pictures down on my yard.
Right, so the outside has had a little uh, little spruce up. This is where we had the paintwork done. This corner here, say hello Jude. Hiya. And this corner here. So previously we had a, a, a push in and, and like a sort of scrape. So that's gone now. So as you can see, the outside is looking a lot better. Um, so onto the inside, which does need a little bit of love. We pop on the driver's side. Ooh. We can see. Yeah, it's not great. The seats need doing. Um, I haven't actually got a machine yet for doing these, so if anyone could recommend something to do the seats with, apparently those uh, Karcher putsy things are quite good. So, uh, yeah, let's carry on. So I'm going to go old school and try some washing up powder with a little brush. You don't give me a brush, don't tell that. Give the seats a bit of a scrub because they're not very nice uh, and see how it comes out. Right, so we are at my car place. We're further around the site. Just, I've changed uh, the location a little bit today because the sunlight is glaring where I usually do it. So, change it up a little bit. Um, I was thinking, comment below what people would prefer to see. I'm not saying there's lots of people watch these videos because you can see by the figures, it's not exactly huge, but um, what would people prefer to see? Cleaning the vehicle or just clean before and after purchase prices? costs things like that oh i actually told a, a lie earlier without realizing i've watched it back it wasn't 2500 it was 1500 if i had have paid 2500 um i should be questioning if i could even do this for a living so uh, if you like the video please give it a like uh please subscribe and we shall keep on doing what we're doing and yeah tell me what you'd like to see and i shall try my best to sort it out but thank you <laughs>